Christmas season has officially arrived. And I'm pretty simple when it comes to our Christmas decorations on our homestead. I usually like to set up one small Christmas tree on our porch. We have an indoor porch. Our house is built in the 1930s and I'm actually out there right now filming this video. And we like to set the tree out there so we can enjoy it. We also hang up a, a few stockings here. And I like to place some old ornaments inside a, um, a crock bowl, like an antique crock bowl. And then we have a nativity set. And that's pretty much all that we do. We're pretty minimal when it comes to Christmas decorations. And we usually like to use vintage items like the nativity set we got on the flea market a few years ago. And even though I'm pretty sure that it's missing some pieces and I think that the Joseph character might actually be a shepherd, <laughs> we still really enjoy it because it has a lot of um, character and a lot of um, story to that piece. I also like to incorporate um, handmade items. Most of our um, decorations are either used or handmade. Things like cinnamon, applesauce ornament, or dried oranges for ornament or a garland. And um, when I use these handmade things, sometimes I like to repurpose old pieces and give them new life, such as taking some old lath board from a farmhouse and turning it into a wooden Christmas star. The materials you will need to build this wooden Christmas star are five lath boards cut into 24 inches. Now if you don't have any of those types of boards, um, especially old ones um, from an old home, you can go to Home Depot or hardware stores and pick up some. Um, some other great options to use for this project include things like vintage tobacco sticks, um, you can use trim board, extra large paint sticks, or rulers or yard sticks cut down will work great as well. You will need 5 to 10 nails. I purchased some 11 16 inch nails in gold from Home Depot. You'll need some floral wire, ribbon um again i purchased some i believe at home depot again but i'm sure hobby lobby or a lot of craft stores have great christmas ribbon to choose from the ribbon that i selected is five feet by two and a half inch thick ribbon You'll also need some greenery, and you can use a live branch, like a pine branch, um, or a fake branch as well. The fake branch will obviously last a lot longer as the real stuff will eventually dry out and all the needles will fall off. So it's up to you, and the greenery is optional as well. If you don't want that onto your, on your star, then you don't need to add it. 
And the last thing you'll need for this project is a hot glue gun. To create the wooden Christmas star, start by cutting your laugh boards to 24 inches long. Next, arrange your laugh boards in a star shape. If you go to the description box, I have a link to a blog post that has some imagery on exactly how you should line up the star um, using the boards in case you need a little bit of guidance with that. Using a nail, secure all five points of the star. Depending on how your boards connect, you can also add a few nails to the adjoining boards in the center of the star to make it extra stable, especially if the boards are popping up in the middle. Once your star is nailed together, it's time to attach the greenery. So I have clipped a branch, I believe it was, I think from a cedar tree, but you can also use pine, you can use eucalyptus, um, or faux greenery, whatever you would like. Place the end of the branch in the center of the top board. Using floral wire, attach the branch in an X shape going from front to the back and twisting tightly on the back side to make sure that the branch does not fall off. Optionally, you can also use hot glue to adhere the greenery to the wooden star. Now it's time to create the ribbon. You'll want to cut one strip of 27 inch long piece of ribbon for the bow. Then one piece that's five and a half inches long for the center and one piece that's 25 inches long for the tails of the ribbon. Using the 27 inch length, create a loop overlapping the ends and securing with some hot glue. Wrap the five and a half inch piece around the center of the loop you just created. Overlap the edges and add some hot glue. Do not glue the center to the large loop. Grab the 25 inch length of ribbon, feed the ribbon through the back side of the center loop, and then pull the tails down and arrange exactly as you desire to finish off the ribbon. Add some hot glue to the back of the ribbon and place it in the center of the star, making sure that you adhere it to the wood and branch. That way everything is one unit and stays together.
to display your wooden star, you can add it to a mantel, a shelf, a bookshelf, you can hang it from an old ladder, a hook, or you can tie some twine around the top and hang your star on the front door to create a lovely Christmas wreath. Be sure to head over to the blog to find more Christmas craft ideas. I just recently shared a tutorial on there about how to make a gingerbread farmhouse and it comes uh, with a free template to build a house so you'll definitely want to check that one out. Alright, well I hope that you are enjoying the Christmas season so far and I will see you around in the next video.